What's up? Uh, this time last year, I made two videos just before the start of the year 2020. The first one was called A 2020 Prophetic Word For You. The second one was called Is 2020 The End Of The World? I'm going to take a step back and look at those videos again. I haven't really watched them properly since, and we're going to see if anything I said was legit or not. Um, at the time of releasing them, I didn't have like loads of subscribers or followers. I um, I guess I still don't maybe, but I have a lot more than I had then. And I remember them causing a bit of a stir and getting quite a lot of views. I think between them, they've probably got almost 300,000 or something like that at the time of making this video. Um, but we're just going to crack on. We're going to watch the 2020 prophetic word for you video and see what I'm saying and see if anything is legit. I think of the year 2020. I just get this overwhelming sense of significance. Something big is happening. Okay, pause there. I do remember when I made this video, the few weeks leading up to it, in my own quiet time, in my own precious time with the Lord, in the bath, reading my Bible, praying, and trying to listen, and trying to just be, I remember 2020 feeling so weighty, like it wasn't gonna be like any other year, that it was going to be very significant and historical. I guess it was true. It has been um, probably the most epic year of some of our lives. This was very much God talking to me. I wasn't claiming to be a huge prophet for the nations, for the whole earth, that this was a covering, that this will happen, like this is the voice of the Lord. This is very much me and God having that time and him talking to me through the ways that he does. And I felt that, yeah, I didn't want to just journalist. I wanted to make a video just in case, I don't know, anyone maybe can relate to it and we can just chat and we can discuss and we can see. I didn't realize that it would be as relatable or potentially controversial like it was. But this um, is the year but let's keep watching where things begin to change. Okay, I've watched a little more of it and it's like the main topic I'm talking about is change. There is going to be so much change that happens beginnings and ends and big decisions and that has been so true about my year like this prophetic word is actually speaking to me right now and i believe i can relate to it personally there has been change in my work situation there has been change in my health situation there has been change in my church situation there just seems to be change happening everywhere in my family like and that has been because of the pandemic situation and everything else that that's brought along with it if you haven't experienced lots of change this year so to prayers and this 2020 where are you living in the world completion i mean it in a positive encouraging way but also in like a warning way that i see it being i see justice and i see things like court cases that have gone on for years also like coming to an end So yeah, like I said in the, in the video there, the the topic of justice coming up in 2020, and I again I haven't watched this video since I made it just because it was yeah causing a lot of you know comments and things coming through in my inbox and things like that. But wow, justice has been a huge topic in 2020, and it was actually the. Um, Black Lives Matter and George Floyd incident and everything around that that really affected um, my health situation so much. I had six weeks in bed with after having an emotional breakdown following that and justice is huge this year and even, there was hashtag justice for Breonna Taylor, justice for George Floyd. It was these sorts of things that were just trending on social media and in your face and it forced me to basically take some time off social media as well in that time. I talked here about a, a grey area, there wouldn't be black or white, I even used that terminology and yeah, I believe that 2020 really has been a year where you can you can see when people are on the fence. There's been this sort of decide like are you gonna pay are you gonna post that black square image on your feed? And also I feel like it's been the same for faith as well. I see so many people almost completely losing their faith and at the same time so many people just going all in. It's forced us not to be middle of the road, lukewarm kind of people. We need to be making these decisions and well it really got to me <laughs> saying that. 
I'm gonna keep going and watch a bit more. Hollywood, I can see it in the media, in the creative arts, I see God breaking into those areas where we feel like we haven't really seen him before and there's been struggle there before. I feel like there's gonna be just doors opening in those areas. And so this is so good because 2020 has been the year where the church has gone digital and the media, the creative and the digital aspect of church has just sort of blown up and everyone's had to learn to do it this way and the creatives and those who are in media and comms that are within your church have so much to do and they've been asked to sort of step up whereas I think before we were maybe leaning into it but we hadn't fully jumped in and this year forced us as a church to jump into the media and the creative and the digital industries. Just the word destiny just rings out over 2020. The word legacy rings out over this year and I'm excited about that. Destiny and legacy, those words ring so true about my 2020 because I'm now father of two and this year I've been home loads and I've witnessed the birth of my own son and so destiny and legacy seem to be the theme when I think of my kids and the time that I'm spending with them and so it's sort of shifted that and my perspective on family and home and the importance of that because we've been home a lot and we've been doing family a lot um, and my wife will be very happy to hear that because she can probably relate to that too businesses are going to be established this year that contracts are going to be signed contracts are going to be signed i signed two new contracts because i changed my career i used to just do film production stuff and um, video production mostly for events that was my job and within a week of lockdown i actually lost all of my work and I, for a few months, I didn't know what to do and it was really tough. Um, and I can confirm that I've signed two slash three sort of regular contracts. One of those is with my drinks company, Hollis Kombucha. You might have seen some stuff about that. I now do that for half my week. And also a lot of the social media stuff, Joseph the Dreamer is technically signed and represented by an agency. So that's quite exciting. Um, and some other bits and bobs too that I never thought were even on the cards until lockdown happened. Again, this theme of change, 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 change. Things are changing. So much has changed this year. This, I don't think I even tapped into half of what I wanted to say. And I would say that this prophetic word is so for me. It's got me written all over it. And... It probably has a lot of you guys written all over it too and that excites me, that makes me feel like maybe I didn't get it all wrong. <laughs> but of course I don't just want to ignore what you guys are probably thinking and that is, yeah, I'm sorry if you've been hurt in the past by a prophetic word or an insensitive prophetic word of someone who wasn't stewarding the gift of prophecy that we should earnestly seek they haven't been stewarding it well i want to say that there are prophets and there is the gift of prophecy that are two separate things there are some people that are called to be prophets and have a big long track record of very big and accurate prophetic words and there are people like you and me who are in the church that who love and serve each other who should earnestly seek the gift of prophecy and should be prophesying regularly and should be praying and prophesying over each other in a space that just supports each other, that is family. I think prof what people get wrong about prophecy is that actually sometimes it takes a little bit of practice because hearing the voice of God can take a little bit of practice. We can't expect someone who, say, is new to being a Christian to suddenly accurately hear the voice of God in all kinds of different ways. We learn the frequency that God speaks to us on and we learn the ways that he communicates with us and our relationship is different to say someone else's relationship and someone else's strengths and gifts and spiritual gifts as well. So please allow the people around you to fail and love them through it and teach them and guide them and let's learn how to use the prophetic gifts and the spiritual gifts well. Just simply read 1 Corinthians 14. It's got loads of amazing verses about spiritual gifts and about prophecy for today. It even says in 1 Corinthians 14 5, now I wish that you all spoke in tongues but even more that you would prophesy. Let's be quick to listen, slow to speak, honour each other, respect each other, all of that. 
quickly as for that other second video that I haven't really mentioned about it being the end of the world, I don't ever actually claim it's going to be the end of the world. Um, I titled that because other people were and I wanted to do something different. I saw something on social media. It was just a quote and it said something like plot twist 2020 was actually the greatest year of your life because you grew more in that year than the whole decade previous and that struck me and that's very positive thinking which I'm almost ready for as I welcome in the new year and so congratulations 2020 is coming to an end. Love each other, have grace for each other, and listen to God more than humans.